Hello guys, welcome to the channel Solmat Pharma. Today we thought to discuss that uh, if you go for an interview or any walk-in drive, so what happens actually in that interview or in that particular walk-in drive. So let's start the video with uh, the like target of 100 likes. Hope you guys will fulfill the like targets. So let's start. Uh, so when you go for an interview, uh, the interviewer or the recruiter generally gives a general registration form to you guys. You have to just fill them with your details like your name, your uh, proper address, your education qualification like that. Along with that, you have to carry two copies of your resume or uh, government identity proof in original. The recruiter then give you a questionnaire form which contains technical or non-technical portions. The technical portions contain some questions like basics of PV, what is medication error, what is expectedness, what is ICSR, what are the validity criteria of a valid ICSR like uh, what is uh, SUSAR, what is serious adverse reaction? What are the difference between adverse event and adverse drug reaction? Like that. Then uh, they can also give you a simple case to process the basic steps they will provide. Or they can provide you uh, details of a patient, their medical history, their concomitant uh, medication. And uh, they will uh, tell you to write a narrative which uh, contains all the basic patient details. After clearing the above round, the, the HR will tell you to install a mobile app or they will provide you computer systems where they will uh, perform the aptitude test, which contains logical reasoning, grammar comprehension, and uh, general ability questions. And uh, you have to clear that round also after the technical round uh, then uh, they will uh, tell you to wait for a bit uh, then uh, if you pass the interview then uh, they will uh, allow you to attend the face-to-face -face interview uh, there should be one person or more than one person for the face-to-face -face round uh, for the experienced candidate which uh, persons uh, holds uh, but some years of experience in PV, uh, they have to uh, just uh, tell their brief introduction like their name, age, gender, education, qualification and where they work previously and uh, then the interviewer will ask you the general PV questions. Uh, mostly uh, for experienced person, the interviewer will prefer to ask the case processing related questions uh, all the theoretical questions will be asked only for fisher most uh, preferably but uh, actually interviewer can ask you the step by step process of case processing like what are the steps like uh, the basics uh, acceptance or intake of a case triaging means you know, whether this case is a serious case or a non-serious case uh, whether it is a uh, initial case or a follow-up case uh, you have to tell them then uh, what are the steps of case processing like you have to search the particular case with patient initial date of birth and gender or any other reference number present over the case you have to perform the duplicate search. Upon duplicate searching, you have to book the case, then process the case. The case will be reviewed by a QC person in your esteemed uh, in your esteemed organization, and uh, then they will uh, push the case for medical review. And after that, they will close the case and uh, generate the regulatory report which uh, will submit to respective regulatory authorities. So uh, these are the questions for uh, experienced professionals and for pressure, they will generally prefer to ask pharmacology, like uh, the basic classifications uh, for antihypertensive drugs, diuretics, um, anti-cancer drugs, some mechanism of action of particular class of drugs, 
some example and basic adverse event of drug like uh, if you take penicillin then it is quite obvious that uh, you might having some skin reaction like things and uh, like that only they will ask the basic questions regarding pharmacology the classification some disease like rheumatoid arthritis what is myasthenia gravis what are the first line drug uh, to treat them what is anti tubercular drugs uh, name some uh, first line anti tubercular drugs like isoniazid rifampin pyrazinamide ethambutol and streptomycin like that what is uh, anti fungal drug name some fourth or third generation antibiotic drugs uh, what is uh, the mechanism of action of that particular antibiotic drugs what is uh, particular dose of a drug what is beta lactam antibiotics uh, name some uh, examples of beta lactam antibiotics what is the mechanism like that and uh, they can ask the basic questions of pv like uh, what is what is the solicited and unsolicited reports uh, what is icsr uh, and you have to read the basic uh, regulatory authorities of particular countries like we know for usa it is fda uh, for japan it is mhra uh, for india it is cdsco like that only for uh, canada it is health canada like that you have to study all these things then uh, they can ask what is causality what is signal uh, then uh, what are the validity criteria of a particular icsr uh, what is susar what is the timeline of susar it is 15 days okay uh, then uh, after clearing the round uh, they will uh, tell you to go back to your home and after that you will uh, receive a confirmation whether you are selected or not via email and after that they will uh, give you a offer letter where they will mention the tentative joining date as per your requirements so uh, don't get disheartened if you are not selected be prepared for your next attempt do your best be with us if you like the content then don't forget to like the video subscribe and share with your peer ones uh, i think this video will help you guys to crack and get a particular suitable job for your future endeavor thank you have a nice day